Hello YouTube friends, Matteo here and I welcome you again here in my little RC garage. Frequently I'm asked how I waterproof my RC cars. In this video I'd like to show you another technique to waterproof your electronics in an RC car. I've already done a video about this and explained the balloon method. Using a balloon for waterproofing is very easy to do, that's the advantage. You have not to open the parts and manipulate something on the inside. Only insert the things into a rubber balloon and so you can still save the warranty for the parts. But now I will explain and show you the epoxy glue technique. The advantage of this method is the heat sinks are still in fresh air and the ESC will not overheating. This is a problem with the balloon method, especially in summer or when you use a powerful setup or a low gear ratio in your car. But be carefully and please note, if you open an electronic part and manipulate something on the inside, you will lose the manufacturer's warranty and you do this on your own risk. As first, I have to open the cover of the ESC. I have to push inside these small parts and then I can open it. Here you can see the circuit board of this ESC. What I do now is to cover this electronic part on both sides with epoxy glue. Only the small button should be stay without glue, because it is necessary to push it for programming the speed controller. This is a two component epoxy glue I will use for this. It exists many different brands and all are good. Different are the reaction time. Some of them hardened in 30 minutes, others need 20 hours. Mine dries in 5 minutes, so I had to hurry a bit. Maybe better would be a 30 minute epoxy to get more time for the work. I mix a good amount of glue and cover the underside of the circuit board. I have to be sure to cover all the parts with a thin layer of glue. Then I put back the circuit board in the lower part of the cover and do the same with the upper side. I cover all the space with glue, except the small button I showed you before. And of course, I let free the heat sinks. After everything is good covered, I close the upper cover and put the parts together. As last, I apply a bit of glue here on the cable connections to be sure no water can go inside along the cables. And 
and you can see, it is still possible to use this small button. After one hour of drying, I'm ready for a first test. Steering works. Normally I use a factory side waterproof servo. Because of the rotating parts, a servo is more difficult to waterproof. And the ESC works also. You can see the LED for programming is still visible. But now, the more interesting question is, is it waterproof? To check this, I have here a small bowl with water and I put it into the water. And it still works. Let's make the conditions even a bit harder. And it still works fine. Looks as the waterproofing was successful. Now, I do the same with the receiver. Also here, I have to keep away the glue from the small button. I need it to bind the receiver to the transmitter. And of course, I do not touch the small servo connectors. So, everything works well and is waterproof now. If you like these informations, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have a remark or question, please leave a comment down below. I say thanks for watching and see you next time.